router can function as the egress gateway of an enterprise network. Connecting the network to the Internet, Intranet users access the Internet through the NAT service deployed on the router, voice, video, and data services on the long side of the enterprise network are identified by DSCP priorities. The enterprise wants to preferentially forward voice service traffic. Now, let's look at a configuration example. In this networking diagram, a router functions as the egress gateway of an enterprise network and connects to the internet through the interface GE008, which has a static IP address. Intranet users access the internet through NAT, which is deployed on the router, voice, video, and data services on the long side of the enterprise network are identified by DSCP priorities. Traffic of these services is forwarded to GE800 on the router through a switch before being forwarded to the internet through GE008 on the router. The internet bandwidth of the enterprise is 10 bits. The enterprise requires that voice service traffic be preferentially forwarded and have exclusive use of 4 bits bandwidth. Next, let's move on to the process of configuring assured bandwidth for high priority services. First, open the AR web platform. Enter your username and password, and click Login. Then, configure the one side. Choose Configuration, One Configuration, Ethernet Interface to access the Ethernet Interface Configuration page. Locate GE008 and click Modify in the Operation column to modify its configuration. Select IPv4 Configuration, set Connection Mode to Fixed Address, Static and set IP address, subnet mask, default gateway, primary DNS server, and secondary DNS server as planned. Set MTU byte to the default value 1500. Enable the NAT service, and click OK. Now, let's configure the LAN side. Choose configuration, LAN configuration, LAN, on the VLAN tab page. First configure VLAN 10. Set addition mode to single and VLAN ID to 10. Click configuration next to select interface. In the select interface dialog box. Select GE006 to add it to VLAN 10. And click the right arrow symbol. In the modify link type dialog box. Change the link type of GE006 to trunk and click OK. Click OK. On the VLAN tab page, select Create VLANIF. Set Primary IP Address Mask for VLANIF 10. And click Add. Now the configuration of VLAN 10 is complete. Click the VLANIF tab. Find VLANIF 10 in the VLANIF interface list. And click Modify in the Operation column to modify its configuration. Toggle on DHCP service. Set DNS service to use system DNS setting. And click OK. The configuration of VLAN of 10 is now complete. Next, let's configure VLAN 20 on the VLAN tab page. Set addition mode to single and VLAN ID to 20. Click configuration next to select interface. In the select interface dialog box. Select GE006 to add it to VLAN 20 and click the right arrow symbol in the modify link type dialog box. Change the link type of GE006 to trunk and click OK. Click OK on the VLAN tab page. Select create VLANIF. Set primary IP address mask for VLANIF 20 and click add. The configuration of VLAN 20 is complete. Click the VLANIF tab. Find VLANIF 20 in the VLANIF interface list. And click Modify in the Operation column to modify its configuration. Toggle on DHCP service. Set DNS service to use system DNS setting. And click OK. The configuration of VLANIF 20 is now complete. Next, let's configure a traffic policy. Choose Advanced. Coase Configuration. Traffic Management. 
and click the Policy Configuration tab. Click the plus sign in the Policy List area. Enter the policy name Policy 1 and press Enter. Then, select Policy 1 and click Create Classifier on the right. Set Classifier Name to Voice. Match Priority to DSCP. DSCP Priority to 46. Q-Type to LLQ and Assured Bandwidth to 4000 kbps. Then, click OK. Now, let's apply the traffic policy to an interface. Click the Policy Application tab. Set interface name to Gigabyte Ethernet 0, 0, 8. Policy name to Policy 1 and Direction to Outbound. Then, click Apply. After all configurations are complete, Voice services are preferentially forwarded with an assured bandwidth of 4 bits. When intranet users access the internet, 